I'm about to be sarcastic, okay? Okay. You're not fat at all. Peacemaker's season 1 finale had a bloody war between Argus and the butterflies, so let's dissect the ending and the post credit scene. In the season 1 finale of Peacemaker, John Cena's Chris and the Argus team pulled out all the stops at the Coverdale farm. They had to stop the butterflies teleporting the giant caterpillar, Akka the cow, that produced their food to Maine, which led to the team planting one of Peacemaker's helmets as a bomb. Do what? Leona. Pete. Pete. Through a series of sonic booms, they brought the farm down, damaging the cow and sparking a brutal fight in the field. However, just when it seemed like the aliens got the upper hand, Peacemaker dug deep to save his friends. With that in mind, let's dissect the bloody ending and the post-credits that once more proved how zany the Argus team could be. The Butterfly's real mission was revealed in Peacemaker's finale, Harcourt instructed Adebayo to help Chris, who was getting pummeled by Song, because the cow was the mission's priority. Just when it seemed like Adebayo would save the day with Peacemaker's human torpedo helmet, she missed the target and rammed into the wall. Human torpedo! Adebayo, no! Song, possessed by the goth butterfly, didn't want to kill Chris, however. She took him to the cow, admitting they didn't want to destroy humanity, they wanted to save it. They fled their homeworld after bad decisions destroyed it, thus, they didn't want their new home to crumble. Fuck another fish, asshole! They were tired of populist leaders convincing people to ignore science and reason, while abandoning personal responsibility and putting profit above survival. The humans they possessed were meant to help the planet evolve. Chris chose a side in Peacemaker's finale, Song explained to Peacemaker that their mission was the same, killing to create a peaceful utopia, so she urged him to man one panel, while she and Locke manned the others to send the cow away. But when it seemed like Chris would help out, he betrayed her. He voice activated Adebayo's torpedo mode as she stumbled into the room, sending her flying through the cow's chest like a bullet. It killed the monster, leaving Adebayo falling out covered in blood and guts. Chris then shot Locke in the head, killing the butterfly and the human host, before shooting Song in the stomach. He took a disheveled Adebayo away while sparing Goff after it burrowed out out Song's mouth and flew off. Thankfully, Vigilante and Harcourt were alive, and as the team walked away from the site, the Justice League showed up, only to be cursed out by Chris for being late. Not a rumor. The mission changed Argus in Peacemaker's finale, Adebayo eventually outed Amanda Waller's sins with Task Force X, calling for an investigation into her mother's sadistic program, before returning to her wife, Kia. Chris stayed by Harcourt's side for four days until she got better. She even held his hand, teasing a romance with a flash forward showing her walking in therapy. Adrian left hospice to resume his vigilante career, while Economos took a job with Bell Reeve Penitentiary, keeping a team photo to remember the good times. The feisty judo master arrived late to the action and was left crying at the farm, unaware the golf butterfly survived. Chris spent quality time with the adopted alien and Eagly, but sadly he was seeing Augie's ghost. It confirmed his fractured psyche still needed healing, because while he might have gotten over killing Rick Flagg, the white dragon is haunting his thoughts. I'm about to be sarcastic, okay? Okay. You're not fat at all. The post-credits proved Vigilante cared, I this episode's stinger, as I with see. all the others, expanded on events within the episode. It focused on the ever-wacky Vigilante discussing sarcasm with Chris and Economos while strategizing how to attack the farm. Vigilante told Chris he needed to warn people when being sarcastic, or it'd come off like bullying. Vigilante used Economos as an example, telling him he wasn't fat and that he wasn't going to die. It ended with Vigilante admitting he actually was worried about Economos, who thanked him in a most frustrating manner. I am worried that you're gonna die. Thanks. 